Weighing even more evidence, will the Kamar Sarjewski jury send the convicted triple murderer to death? Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Koontz. The parents of convicted killer Joshua Kamar Sarjewski are trying to convince the jury today to spare their son's life. This, of course, day two of the penalty phase of that trial. News 8's Kent Pierce, live outside of New Haven Superior Court this midday with the latest. Kent? And Keith, so far today is all about Komosarjevsky family history with Joshua Komosarjevsky's adopted father taking the stand this morning. He's the first witness for the defense. Benedict Komosarjevsky was shaking visibly. His voice is shaky too. He says he suffers from Parkinson's disease. He's 63 years old and comes from a family of singers and dancers and theater people, we learned. He didn't really know his father, who died when Benedict was young, and Benedict got involved with Christian groups as a teen. Now, Joshua was adopted, and yesterday we heard the defense talk about how he was abused by a foster brother and how the devout Christian Komosarjevsky family decided to try to pray away Joshua's obvious mental illnesses instead of getting him therapy. We certainly expect to hear more talk about life in the Komosarjevsky household in the weeks to come. This penalty phase is a little different from the guilt or innocence phase of the trial. For one thing, the defense has now switched and they're sitting at the table closest to the jury box. So Joshua Komosarjevsky is actually sitting about six feet away from the closest juror. That also puts him closer to the Pettit and Hawk families. So Dr. William Pettit is now sitting about eight feet away from the man convicted of killing his wife and daughters. We have more testimony coming going on right now. They are continuing with Komisarjevsky's father, Benedict, and that is expected to take a little while. They had not even reached the point in the 20th century at which Joshua entered the Komisarjevsky household when I was last up in the courtroom a few minutes ago. Live outside New Haven Superior Court, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.